Serving Kenya Tea Development Agency CEO Lerionka Tempati has resigned. This and more in our corporate news roundup. In a statement to newsrooms, KTDA says Tiampati, who has been on compulsory leave, chose to exit the organization. Tiampati joined KTDA in 2004 and has been at the helm since then. Wilson Mudaura, who has been acting CEO, will continue holding fort until a substantive replacement is sought. Elsewhere, KCB Bank Kenya and the Kenya National Chamber of Commerce and Industries Mombasa branch have signed a deal to enable small and medium-sized traders to access financial and non-financial products from the lender. The two organizations say this will help the SMEs recover faster from the impact of COVID-19. The Rural Electrification and Renewable Energy Cooperation has signed an agreement with the county government of Makweni to enhance access to power. RIREC CEO Peter Mbogwa says the deal will help increase electricity connectivity in Makweni from the current average of 25% to the national average of 71%. The exercise seeks to connect 22,000 households to the grid in the next one year. And finally, authorized Apple products dealer Mark and Mo has conducted a training exercise for its customers and Apple product users on the capabilities of the new M1 chip that will come with new version of the products. The M1 chip is labeled as the most powerful chip that Apple has created to date, and it is similar to the A14 chip in the latest iPhone and iPad Air model.